What is up guys? Welcome back to SoCal Expeditions. In today's video, we have another 2010 Tundra regular cab short bed unicorn that's officially named Gramps video. We're gonna be installing a new set of headlights from Morimoto. They're gonna be the Amber Daytime Running Light Edition and I cannot see anything out of these headlights. I love this truck, but there's a couple things that bother me. First, the suspension is terrible. The interior, everything squeaks in it and rattles. And third, these headlights are horrible. The worst performing stock headlights I've ever seen. So we're gonna go ahead, get these things out, put in the Morimoto's. This is very, very simple to do. So Morimoto has a video showing you that. I'm gonna show you guys the difference between these stock ones and the amber ones as we go. And if I see anything that I should let you guys know of, I will let you know. So stay tuned, we're gonna get this install started. Just like that, we have one of the headlights loose. This is very, very simple. Um, it's literally held together by three screws. This one is the side one, and these two are the top. And then you're gonna have two of these plastic tabs that are holding the lower trim piece in. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect all the wiring for the back, but I always like to take pictures or take videos of stuff, and I can go back to it so just so I have recollection and good evidence of where stuff goes. So just in case, you know, I decide to put stock headlights back on, I know where everything is, but we're gonna get just disconnect all the plugs for now. Here we have the regular headlight next to the Morimoto and you can just see the difference in how these look. The Morimoto's look absolutely beautiful. Nice, blacked out. LED strips look good, even in the daytime. I'm a sucker for good looking, non-clear tube, non-Chinese eBay LED looking <laughs> LED strips. Uh, if you've bought some of these headlights off of eBay, you know exactly what I'm talking about. These things look absolutely stunning. They're gonna look amazing on the truck. So here's what all the wiring is. If you want sequential turn signals, leave this unplugged. If you want uh, standard turn signals where they all blink together then plug this in this one right here is for your side marker light this is for your daytime running lights this one right here with two pins on the side you can see a pin on the left side and a pin on the right is for your low beam this one is for your high beam and this is for your turn signal so this is an out of fuse right here for an out of fuse to work, it needs to have two fuses inside of the slots. Alpharex will send you them with one because they're too cheap to send you another fuse. But always make sure that with headlight installations, you need two fuses inside of here. This out of fuse right here is going to plug in where this 10 millimeter or 10 amp fuse is, we will be replacing it with the out of fuse. So go ahead and pull this out and plug the out of fuse in there and run your wiring out the corner. I had got the daytime running light wire ran. You can see it come down through here, zip tied into a little bundle right here with a spare. I think that's pretty clean. And we have one end right here, a little bit of loose, uh, just a little bit of slack so I can move it around. And then it actually runs up in here across this channel where the regular wiring loom runs, comes out the back right here, and now it's over here. Super easy, and the wire is covered the whole way across. You will not notice it. So nothing ran in the front here. It's ran in this wiring channel right here, and you can easily get to it coming from underneath here. So we can go ahead and get the lights plugged in. And just like that, the headlights are fully installed. A couple notes here, I use some washers on top of the headlight tabs to help preserve them a little bit. I felt like the OEM bolt that it comes with and this style of tab does not go well together. So I decided to use washers on top. So it kind of just grabs it. Uh, it has more surface area to grab than just using uh, this bolt and washer setup. Other than that, gaps look pretty good. No complaints here. I mean, they are not OEM headlights. They're very, very close, and I don't have many complaints. Other than that, let's pull it back and we can take a look at what they look like on. Go, mommy, go, mom. I really don't want to 
see you cry. I'm on me go now. I really wanna brutalize, let him agonize, cause it's gonna be biting you. They're gonna kill if you let them through. Gonna be it for the Morimoto Tundra Amber daytime running light install. I hope you guys enjoyed. It is really simple to get these things on here, and just like when I had the Ram, these Morimoto DRLs are very bright. They will blow Alpha X out of the water. Light output on these things, time will tell. But I do know that these are not a projector assembly. It's still an LED and a reflector. So, you know, we'll see once I get everything adjusted right. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video on the 2010 Tundra, aka Gramps.